Let me destroy this last mango. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all live? Y'all thought y'all was going to die yesterday. Y'all here? Breathing, living? If you're scared, go to church. Hey. My bad. This is how I eat mangoes. <laughs> I don't know what you do. But I'm a jungle bitch. Okay? Hey. I'm sorry. I'm rushing. It's like today, man. Ain't nothing went wrong. Just me rushing. This the sixth one. I tell you, no word alive. I was so hungry. Hey, what's up? These people were scared crazy. And you alive? Oh, Facebook just cut off. That's crazy. It was doing me that all yesterday. I tried to call you and sent you a DM. Call the warehouse. Ma'am, how you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Okay. Facebook been cutting me off all yesterday. <laughs> Hold on, let me get, let me try to get Facebook back up. I don't know why they're doing that. They don't love me. These people are scared crazy. Oh, look, it really went on and then went off. Let me see. Let me try to get on again. Let's see. All right, ma'am, call the warehouse. Call the warehouse. No soul lead clips yesterday in Louisiana. Just because we didn't get to see it. They were still there in that energy. So Facebook hasn't been doing y'all that. It's just, it's just mad at me for some strange reason. Has Facebook was acting weird yesterday at all for y'all? Or it's just my page? I'm sorry, I'm real chest heavy today. That's what happens when you have milk in your titties. They won't instead of silicone. Okay? What's up? I don't know Facebook. I'm on YouTube and I'm also on Instagram. So if it cut out again, I might give it one more try, but then I'm not going to give it no more after that, okay? All right. They was doing me that all yesterday. Every time I click on Facebook, it clicked me off. And I told Catrice, I was like, check your Facebook, and it wasn't doing that for her. I had to literally reset my entire phone in order for it to stop doing it and just not just cut me off. Like, just exit out of the whole thing. So Facebook has been acting up. Okay, cool. So if you do that again, y'all come to Instagram or you come to YouTube. If you don't have any, I don't know what to tell you. What's your YouTube name? Um, The Goddess Collection, Crystal, The Hell Advocate. Because that's what I started off as. That's crazy. When I was eating so well and I wasn't stressed and doing all this and doing this and eating like this. And I had buku muscles in my own. Oh, that's okay because I will return. Yes, it keep buffering. Okay. It's giving mermaid. It said my... Comment goes against community standards. Okay, it's giving mermaid. Can you believe that on last live when I was telling y'all about the dream of the girl, that somebody got on there and said, tone down your adornments. You're doing too much. This was a black woman. Not an old slave master, granddaughter. This was a black woman telling me. And so I got on underneath her comment because, you know, I'm too fast and I'm too furious. And I didn't got my, I didn't got a lot of trouble with just assuming that somebody is being negative because y'all like to be very passive aggressive. Throw. I didn't mean it like that. The fuck you did, but okay, okay. So now I got to be real. Like you know, I said, "Are you serious?" I mean, I said, "Are you playing? Are you hating?" You know, she was like, "I'm not hating, but I'm I'm serious. It's way too much, girl. Come on, man. This is what happens." When y'all sit y'all raggedy asses down and watch slave movie after slave movie after slave movie. This is what happens when you go to school and they teach you that you was you, you just a come from Africa. You's a monkey, bitch. You's a gorilla. This is what happens. This is what happens when the, the history books teach you that you're an animal and that you warped from a motherfucking gorilla. This is what happens. So in your mind, you're a trash can, bitch. In your mind, you're a peasant. In your mind, you're nothing more than a slave. Who thinks that you're going to stop me <laughs> from being royalty, which you got me all fucked up. And I feel bad for you. I didn't even respond for the first time. I could have slaughtered her. 
But I felt so bad that deep down inside, she is nothing more than a gorilla, than a slave reperson, than an old nigga slave that she believes in my adornment. Now, had I been a white woman, would you have felt my adornments was too much? Since they have whitewashed Egypt and Cleopatra has put her hair like this and I know fucking well, right, she can't get her hair like that. So I know when you played that movie, whatever her name is, Liz Taylor, Ann Taylor, whoever, you had to put a wig on. Because you can't do this here, okay? So, since they didn't whitewashed it and you think, you believe that royalty is only white, <laughs> if at all, you got the nerve to tell me Bitch, I know where I come from. I know that we were kings and queens. And, and you not knowing that, I'm just, you pathetic. You're fucking pathetic. I'm, you lucky <laughs> that I didn't get on here dripping in fucking gold. You lucky that I didn't go find a factory that sell melted gold and jump in the motherfucking container and get on here dripping with it, ho. You lucky that I didn't come rent a throne to sit on. And get on this bitch with a motherfucking crown. And be dazzles dripping from my motherfucking ceiling top. Don't play with me because I can get real extravagant. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. This is why I tell y'all, stop watching these things. Stop putting these ideologies in your head. I don't believe we all were slaves. I believe that it is so hyped up to the point where, stop watching it. Let's say we all was. <laughs> Okay, doubt it. Let's say we all what? Why are you gonna go and watch it? Why are you gonna go and watch it? You what for what? We were not there. This is how you tame a person's psyche. I'm not just talking about your mind. I'm talking about your psyche. This is how you tame a person's psyche based off their history. You're gonna tell a person who they were, and you will never rise above that. That's why you have to be really, really careful. For the things that you put into your soul. Because if the eyes are the gateway to the soul, then that means that everything you watch imprints on your soul. So why in the fuck? I never watched Color Purple. I haven't been conscious since I, I, I became conscious, what, at 22? Almost, I think, around like deep into it, like 24, really, right? I still ain't watched the shit. Never watched it back. Now, what the fuck I want to see that for? I must have knew a little something, bitch. They must have had a little spark somewhere in my ignorant days. Why are you watching that? Because it's going to become you. It's going to be, it's, it's your soul. It's going to be implanted there. Like the Bible says, and you write the tablet on the heart of the, it's going to become who you are. My brothers and sisters, kumbaya, okay? You, this is not who you are. This is not your beginning. I keep fucking telling y'all, everything is directed for your failure in this lifetime, a nigga. Every single thing. They hate black people to the death of it, okay? So you're not going to use the same traps that you use for a bunny that you will for a bear. That means, melanated people, you're a bear. So you better start motherfucking acting like it. What's wrong with y'all? I mean, I, I'm just baffled, flabbergasted. Whatever other words say something like that. <laughs> I mean, come on. So yesterday, okay, and I am not, I hate racial trauma. Feel, come on. Y'all not un getting it. Flashing images is how you teach somebody. This is why you have flashcards. When you go to school, that is not your history. This is why I pull destiny out. I'm not even conscious, conscious yet. And I'm like, man, we sitting here celebrating Christopher Columbus Day. This is what I said. Uh, we know that this white man came and slaughtered the Indonesian people. This, this is what I know. I don't even know, but to know, but a little know. And I said, if they lying to her about that, they must be lying about everything. Ain't no fucking way. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So anyway, perplexed. Yeah, my mama told me that word too. Thanks, man. Anyway, so I get on, <laughs> I get on, wait, before I get on that, you know what? Please stop being distracted with the Diddy Dicks. I'm sick of it. They wore that shit out for us so that you didn't do nothing for the solar eclipse, but think about how many people did it fucked. They wore that shit out. Everywhere, I, I took my phone, threw it at the wall and broke it. I'm lying. 
But I'm saying though, that's how irritated I was. I say, fuck. I don't give a fuck. That's what I said. You love being distracted. You love being distracted. I say, it's a new moon. On a solar eclipse. On the eighth of the day. When the year is an eighth of a month, meaning infinity, meaning whatever energy you were in that was going to literally become who you were for the next 20 fucking years. All right. Not only that, the devil's comet passed by as well. And you see it every 71 years. Seven plus one is eight. And you worry about how many niggas he didn't fucked. Well, it was crazy to me. Every, everything, everything. I say, please stop. Y'all not hearing me though. You were supposed to be able to manifest yesterday. Whatever you want. You were supposed to go and talk to God and find yourself. Because you're looking. You're searching. What are you looking for? You were supposed to find it that day. Not dicks on dicks on dicks. Now they might click me off for that. But they're not clicking nobody else off for talking about Diddy dicks. Listen. Stay away from devil worshippers news. Who are you? Judge yourself. Who are you? So if the devil is down there with the big fake story, right? And the devil, and they have their own town, and somebody is giving you the devil's advocate <laughs> and come and sell you the paper. Who are you? What does that say about you? To want to even know what they're doing. To want to even be able to, you know, look and keep up with what they're doing. You don't even know what the real devil's doing. You ain't cleansed them parasites out, which is the real devil, a.k.a. the real, real, real devil, because parasites can give you thoughts, keep you low vibrating so that you never eat how you're supposed to eat so that they can host you. You're not keeping up with those. You have devil food in your refrigerator. You're not keeping up with that. Yet you will literally feed devil energy. You see that? You will feed. You will feed it. And I just don't understand how you can look at yourself and say that you're spiritual. And for you Christians, say that you're holy. Or even think that you're going to be able to manifest things or be on the right path with literally giving energy to stupid devil shit. This should let you know that all these herbalists, now how you feel now, herbalists? Ha, 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 bitch. Okay? That all you herbalists who wanted fame, don't say you did it. And that's why you go and help these celebrities. You, you, you helping the devils. You helping the devils. Imagine some of the herbalists went and helped Diddy and he fucking little boys. They all doing it. All of your, your friends. All the ones you worship. You the real superstars. Because you haven't sold your soul. You haven't trafficked your little dick. All for, it's a pedophile ring. Pedophile ring. That's one of the first things I learned on my conscious journey. The Disney movie, pedophilia. I didn't let them watch beauty. All that. I didn't let them watch it. It was all pedophilia. You could see that in, in broad daylight as soon as you get conscious. And yet y'all be going to fucking Disneyland. They make you put your fingerprint in that motherfucker. I guess they're going to be at your house next. <laughs> yeah, we got him in the system. Have you lost your motherfucking mind? What? Go somewhere else where they're not asking you to put your fingerprint in it. Then y'all know that Disney was full of pedophilia. The celebrities are full of pedophilia. And I have to sit and argue with herbalists about how we should help celebrities. You worship the devil. You worship the devil. That's what you do. These people, you have just given the cure of herbs to people who play with little pussies and little assholes. Come on, man. Y'all got to fucking do better. Y'all got to do better. You, you, really, you really have to do better. Yesterday was so important. You have three days for that energy to last. So I, I, you get up off your ass and do what you didn't do because I'm fussing at y'all out of tough love. I have more respect for the bubble gum on the sidewalk than I do a celebrity because I know what the fuck is about, okay? The bubble gum on the sidewalk that people have stepped on numerous times, okay? Number number four, because I got to get off here exactly at 1255. Number five, six, seven of what I want to talk about. Because I'm, I'm sorry I got on here because yesterday I had an amazing day. So I'm not mad. I'm real passionate. And I'm just a very Ferrari engine screw. Okay. So yesterday I was getting so mad. <laughs> PSA. 
I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Your pussy stinks. Not because you have hair, but because of what you're chewing and swallowing. Do you understand me? <laughs> Why is it that grandma had a bush pussy and still to this day have a bush pussy? Still to this day, grandma, grandma don't shave up pussy. Why, if you put y'all in the room, your pussy stay. But you you got a shave pussy. I heard yesterday, and I almost jumped through this motherfucker. Because I was trying to not get on him. So for that to pull up, I had to calm myself. I almost jumped through this bitch. Like the nigga on the Matrix who jumped through, you know, the little Mr. Anderson, him. Okay? I almost jumped through this bitch. Do you know that hair... Causes an increase of STDs. Bitch, you are lying! <laughs> you're crazy. You're nuts. You're fucking nuts. How come your grandma didn't have chlamydia like this generation got chlamydia? How come your grandma didn't have herpes like this generation got herpes? Your grandma don't even know what BV is. That lets you know just the opposite. That the bitches who shaving their pussy which is the pitiful point of protection, leaves you more susceptible for infections. That's why you have the highest rate of BV in the history of the planet. That's why when I'm looking at Facebook and they have this motherfucking poll going down, fellas, what is one reason that you slept with a girl and never slept with again? And 95% of the men said stinky pussy. Not your grandma. You know how I know it wasn't your grandma? Because she had 18. She had 18. And grandpa wasn't going back in those stinky ass pussy 18 times. Okay? So that lets you know your lack of hair got your pussy stink. Your lack of hair was meant to be there for a protectant. What a fool you become. This is why hoes will tell me, I do this for a living. Okay? This is my job. This is my covenant with God. This is what I do. This is what I'll do every lifetime. Whatever. So they calling me. So I know the statistics. I don't got to read the articles. In the 1970s, I, I know. They calling me BV, 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 BV. You not tired of that type of pussy? You not tired? All because you so disgusted with yourself. You're so disgusted with yourself because you think that you are your ex-slave. You're so disgusted with yourself. You hate your fat bell pepper nose. You hate your melanated skin and your nappy hair. And you hate pussy hair. Is that what? Why? Give me it. Come on. Let's let's take a poll. Let's take a poll. Raise your hands. I need everybody to come in right now while you hate your pussy here. Tell me why. Tell me why, girl. Come on. Let's see the comments roll through. Come on. Tell me. Give me a reason today. Turn to your neighbor. Say, why do you hate your pussy here, neighbor? Come on. Turn to him. Give me a reason besides your TV brainwashing you why you hate your pussy here. And it better not be. Because it make your pussy stink. Because you got BV, bitch, and your pussy stink. Because you keep getting yeast infection after yeast infection and your pussy stink. Because your pH balance keep getting thrown off and thrown off and thrown off and your pussy still stink. Come on, baby. It leave my pussy musty, but it still stink, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need somebody. They gonna make... Tell me. It's no judgment here. <laughs> I'm not judging you. Come on. Tell me when you look down, you see that hair, you just... Ugh. Oh, God, off with your head. Ugh. Tell me. It just looks so nasty. It looks, ugh. Because, right, because men are going around and you open your bush pussy and they're jumping out of windows. Tell me. Tell me, tell me that your TV didn't tell you that. Tell me. Give me a reason why you hate it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you didn't have chlamydia to clap. Trigomonas, bacteria infections, urinary tract infections. You need your hair. <laughs> you need it. You need it. Not only do you need it, it releases pheromones, girl. <laughs> they could talk all that shit. That nigga gonna be crazy behind that bush pussy. Example, okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, hey, I'm not bragging on my pussy. I'm not married, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Poo pussy. <laughs> Yay. Come on. I never did until the media made it a thing. Bingo. Bingo. Crystal say you can't cut your hair or she won't help you with the burp. Guess what? I get the truth. When, listen, baby. <laughs> I love you. Okay, listen. 
the reason I won't help a woman deliver, and I'm not going to do it like that. If she called me in her pussy ball, because I didn't ball pussy birds, then I will be cool with it. But if I'm your doula from start to finish, you cannot shave your pussy. Here's why. Because when the baby comes down, unless it's a breech birth, okay, hair meets pussy hair, and there's an electromagnetic, whatever you call it, charge, electromagnetic charge that connects you and the baby for a lifetime. The hair has information. Your hair meets the baby's hair and there's an information exchange, not to mention electromagnetic exchange. That hair is so important. That's why your bitch ass OBGYN shaves your pussy. The protect and the berry. Studies have shown that if a mother has motherfucking HIV and herpes, the hair on the pussy will protect the baby from not getting it. You know what else would protect it? When the baby went down the motherfucking canal and they had all of these juices flowing and all of these antibiotics flowing because God made you to give birth. And that's exactly why I'm actually on here today. And I need to breathe because I'm crazy about this shit. Okay? Nuts! So I actually get on here today because I am sad. Yesterday I get a call and obviously I'm not going to say who because it ain't your motherfucking business. And this is a young girl. Man, it's a young motherfucking girl in labor. And you know what the doctors tell her? That her cervix is too small for her to deliver a baby. <laughs> oh my God, God come down and crush them and let them meet their end. Please, we cannot. We cannot. We can't do it no more. We can't do it no more. We can't do it no more, God. Come on. Hello. Listen to me. They said that she had to get a C. This is a young girl. She had to get a C-section because her cervix was too small, son. That shit almost had me crying. It's not your business. I hope you're not talking about the bush pussy because it is my business. Okay? Especially if I'm doing for yours. So Listen. I'm literally about to cry, but I don't want to make her upset. This is her first baby. They telling her she can't give birth. I'm literally sick of it. What is the difference between them hanging you off a tree and cutting your baby out so your husband and your other children can see, and you they can put fear inside of you so that you didn't run away from the slave masses from them giving you C-sections now? They are robbing these children, and no one sees a problem with this. I'm sorry for the people who purchased the doula seminar, but let me just give them this one, this, this, this one. Let me just tell you what happens in labor, okay? So what happens when you are in labor and you do not get the epidural, the body produces a hormone that relaxes the pelvic and that bitch is able to stretch to seven earths if the fuck it had to, to get a 15 pound baby out of there. They are lying to you, lying in your fucking face. Your cervix is not too small, honey. You were made to give birth no matter if God put a 20-pound baby in you. Listen to me. They are robbing you of the experience of that baby coming down the motherfucking canal. It shapes the head. They won't have neck problems and back problems like C-section baby doing. If you ever had to get a C-section baby, girl, it's not your fault. I'm not upset with you. I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want you to feel low. You had to do what you had to do in that time with what you knew. But right now, we just going to literally acknowledge and knowledgeable ourselves, talking all retarded, for the generations to come behind us so that you can advocate for them. So do not pity yourself. Take this information and uplift yourself and know that they can never play on you again. You are not dilating, my girl, because you are stuck in a hospital bed. The word labor means to work. You should be up dancing. You should be up walking around. You should be up leaning on your mate. You should be up squatting. You should be walking from the toilet to the bed. You should be moving. And, and this is birth. You should never be sitting in a motherfucking bed. Numb. They are setting you up. The whole birthing system does not care about black women. Let me say it again. I don't give a fuck if your doctor was black. I don't give a fuck if you got a conscious doctor because they wouldn't be doing it. There'll be a midwife or a holistic doula. They would give it all up because when you know better, you don't sell your soul to do wrong. Listen to me. The birthing system does not give a 
fuck about melanated women period every single thing from the start of when you go into labor is to set you up so that your outcome can be a c-section so that you never attach to the baby because when you release oxytocin without an epidural, you release what is called the mothering hormone. When you get an epidural, you never release that hormone. We are raising children that we do not love just from the birthing process. This is how serious this is. So when I'm holding doula seminar, it's not just because we fucking hippies and we want to go out in the forest and birth. This is for us to be able to survive. This is warfare. You're not hearing me. You think that this is just set up so that your baby can be okay and that they can monitor you. This is warfare. So then you have your baby and the first thing the baby come in contact with is drugs. And you wonder why you can't stop smoking? You wonder why I've been smoking, not me no more, 12 years for straight? I'm already a drug addict. You drug me at the pitiful point of my existence to this planet i'm on drugs you drugged me so that i could not communicate with the mother so that i could not be birthed in my rites of passage to come into this motherfucking realm and now we addicted to opioids and drugged up and addicted to weeds and drugged up and we can't stop drinking and we have no fucking idea why and every single emotion that we try to squelch a squine that has to be full of drugs. And you cannot tell me that at the beginning of when you was birthed, it did not leave an impression because you came here dropped up. And our boys, how many superheroes or superpowers do you think that we would have? You can laugh and think that it's funny all you want. We have superpowers. If you ever did any research on melanin to this day, the darker, you have superpowers. The more melanin the pineal gland re releases, you have superpowers. All souls and people who can see the future. It's written in your Bible. People who dream dreams. People who, what the fuck? They take it, that's your kryptonite. Your epidural is your kryptonite. And if if a baby was more powerful to be able to get through that, they hit you with the fucking Pitocin. They hit you with the fucking Pitocin. Two drugs in your spine. And if we know anything about the spine, we can refer that to the Christ consciousness. And the 33 lumbars in the spine is the 33 levels of consciousness, right? And when you reach the top, you have reached the Kundalini. And that is when you are free. So if you're talking about on a spiritual level, then they put it right in your fucking spine. Right in your spine. I'm not talking to you as a girl who didn't birth all my children. I had Destiny and Jacob in the same way that you did. Pitocin and motherfucking epidural. Okay? They wanted to cut on me when I was 17 years old. Told me that if she didn't come in a little while, I would have a C-section destroy my life at 17 years old. This is about our future. And then our boys come out and because we are so powerful, we still have superpowers, okay? And it's not good enough. So now they got to put them on Ritalin, right? So they give the boys Ritalin when boys are not meant to be still. <laughs> Nobody meant to be still, but girls can handle it way better than boys can. You know, the more active a boy is, the more he builds testosterone. Have you ever seen a gay mechanic? Raise your hand. Do you know to build testosterone? It is as simple as going cut wood. This is why they will now reverse roles so that women can be high in testosterone because we want to build a railroad and we want to be. Have you seen a gay construction man? Pay attention. That's all the fuck you got to do. Pay attention. Have you ever seen one? Because the more things that a man does that are manly, he builds testosterone. Playing basketball, playing football, throwing things down the stairs, throwing things in the swimming pool, hitting things, breaking trees and cutting down trees and building things. This is what builds a man. This is, what, this is why the testosterone is under attack. 
And now they say, you know, they took the trays out of school because guess what? When we drugged them at birth, it wasn't good enough. And if they continue to do the trades, they're going to still be manly. They're going to still be manly. You have to take the point of testosterone in order to change his hormones to a woman. And then he wants to be. It's all switched up. It is warfare. You listening to me? So the more jobs that the woman then has to take on that the man used to do, she builds more masculine energy. And now the men don't want us because we're not masculine energy, but they're not doing it. They're not fucking doing it. Who else is going to do it? Because this is what the woman is built for. The woman is magnificent. She can do whatever you put her up to without feeling because she is the point of creation. She is the one that is made no matter what to survive because she gives birth. So when that baby is in her instinctively, she does every single thing that she can to survive. Every fucking thing. So if it means getting out and chopping wood, she has to do it. Because this is just how her brain is fucking wired. She has to survive in order for the race to survive. She holds the child, okay? So now you want little black boys to sit in school and that already depletes the testosterone because they're not doing anything masculine. And then when they try to release testosterone by moving around and throwing bricks at other bitches and kicking shit because this is all boy shit and wrestling and beating the fuck out of each other, you give them drugs. Which more so depletes the testosterone because every single medication destroys melanin. Every fucking one. And this is why now you have a race of people who are losing melanin. It is very, very, very difficult for you to lose melanin. So when it becomes the fact that the skin is now showing you that the melanin that's inside of you is being deteriorated. And now it is affecting the melanin on the outside of your body. We have come oh too far. They will not praise a normal black woman, but let you have Velodigo or whatever the fuck you call it where you are losing your melanin. Now you can be a model. <laughs> now you are beautiful. Now it is mainstream. Now you can go sit next to Beyonce and play in all her music videos because we want to make this normal. We want to make the fact that a woman who is losing her melanin or a man that is losing her melanin is beautiful and gorgeous. We're not going to look at it for the fucking defect that the fuck it is and know that it is a sickness and that the person obviously needs fucking medical attention. That is not normal. Have you lost your shit? And then with the women, you give them birth control. If you want to drug them as well so that they can lose their feminists, whatever the fuck you call it, you just give them a pill that they swallow from the time that they start to ovulate until the time that they actually want babies and that their womb is so fucking destroyed that they bring out all of these destroyed ass motherfucking babies and it is a shithole. What we are looking at now, stay off of the drugs. Your birth control is a drug. Your Ritalin is a drug. All of these medications, your Tylenol is a motherfucking drug. Your Advil is a drug. Maybe, baby girl, you wouldn't have to pop Tylenol after Tylenol after Tylenol every single time you're on your motherfucking period if you gave a fuck about what you were eating. If you laid off the fucking sugar, if you laid off the coffee, if you laid off the cold drinks and all of these other things that were deteriorating you, even your fucking weed and your alcohol, you wouldn't have to pop more and more and more destructive shit while you're menstruating which is a time that you should actually be giving to God. A time for you to release. A time for you to let go all of the drama that you had from Monday to Sunday in the three weeks of the fucking month. A time for you to let go of the trauma that you had as a child. Let go of the miscarriages, the abortion, the stillbirth. Let go of the trauma that you may have had from another man. Let go of the trauma that you have to deal with at work because women have a superpower which is called the period which is her time of release and any emotions anything that's trapped, anything that is supposed to go mentally, physically, spiritually Spiritually, she releases that through her period. So when you have a group of women who have had a hysterectomy or who have had their tubes tied or who are on birth control or who do not menstruate PCOS for years and years at a time, they lose their mind. And you have a group of women that are mad. And when I say mad, that means they're emotionally unstable. And that means an emotionally unstable woman can be capable of anything. And I mean anything. So here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Do I believe Tylenol can cause spontaneous miscarriages? I just said it was a drug. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then y'all are on diabetic 
medication and high blood medication. And I heard Dick Gregory say, rest in peace, my beautiful Dick Gregory, that you take all of these pills and all of this to be able to eat the bacon again. <laughs> the bacon is what got you there. And then you have to pop six and seven pills to eat the bacon again. You have reached the point of insanity, but you are not listening. You are not listening. You refuse to think because your mind is so clouded by dicks, celebrities, and all of these other things that are going on. Who are you? What do you want? Where do you come from? What are you existing from? What are you existing for? And you need to figure that the fuck out. Your body is a temple. And I mean, I'm just appalled at all of you Christians that will sit here and not light a fucking candle. Won't light a candle and deem sage to be demonic. And yet you eat the way that you do when they told you that life and death was in the power of the tongue. Ah, Y'all have some nerves. This is ridiculous. You have no relationship with God because the first relationship that you're supposed to have is with your fucking self. And yet you treat you like shit. So you're just going to be spending your entire life sitting here fucking up, hoping that you can pray to be forgiven so that you don't burn in everlasting fucking hell, which of which would be such a cruel God to do even do such a fucking thing, opposed to showing you the way and making sure you do not fail and you do not falter, which a parent is supposed to do, which is guiding. That's why you all think that it's cool to beat the fuck out of your children, because if your God, the one that made you and formed you is so precious and great and told you that if you continually to fuck up and you just so spontaneously die, you're going to burn forever, not 20 years. Not 10 years, forever? What the fuck? That's why you have no no problem beating the shit out your children. And you treat your body like shit. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Look at this gay bitch. All right, which I have no problem with gay people. I'm just calling him a faggot because he definitely looks like one. And if he's not a faggot, let's expose him. Oh my God! Who, I, I'm not even addressing nobody who call themselves Roy Boy. You, you sound fucking. You, you look stupid, bitch. Your mama ought to be embarrassed. So, come on, let me see what this question is. What's right with them? Do you know how many layers of the womb that radiation has to look through to have an epidural? I mean, to have an ultrasound? Absolutely. I've been screaming since, since the beginning of the time. Since the beginning of the time. That 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 ultrasounds wasn't okay. But you don't care. You're induced by fear with every single thing that you do every single but not afraid to get diabetes ain't that crazy that they pick and choose no he was agreeing with you i'm sorry well you could keep the name roy boy it sounds excellent on you i like that it rhymes it flows directly off my tongue i love it roy boy love it you couldn't have did better you my friend you my friend huh I'm sorry. See, I told you I was fast and furious. It kind of looked like he was talking about me, but I love you though. I love you. I love that name. Shout out to you. You heard me. You probably want to do Roy Boy King. Oh, solid. Love you, Roy. Love you. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. But I love you though. Much love. You heard me? Much love. Kiss my breast. Kiss my left titty. Mwah. Mwah to you. Okay. I've been saying it. <laughs> I've been saying it. Ultrasounds are so destructive. They cause birth defects. They call see, I'm giving out. I don't want to do this to the people who ordered the the, the uh the doula. What about colonoscopy? How fucked up are you eating? That you can't control yourself enough to stop eating, and you gotta go get plastic up your asshole. What what are y'all doing? A colonoscopy is a way that you lose minerals too fast. Because you are not supposed to release it like that. There, God didn't make a straw attached to the side of your hip. And literally say, okay, well, whenever you need it, put this up your ass to drain it. That is what fasting was for. That is what eating correctly was for. But if you keep up with these Western ways, they will, it will be the death of you. Listen to me and listen to me very clearly. If you keep up with these Western ways, they will be the death of you. Every single thing that you do is based off fear. To your ultrasounds, to your that you give your children, to the that you give yourself, to every single, don't home birth, the, the CPS going to come get you. Everything you do out of fear, except for the betterment of yourself. You are not afraid to get diabetes. In that instance, you will sing YOLO. You will say that you only live one life. And so you're going to do it to your fullest, which is drinking, smoking, and being nothing but destructive. 
That's what you say. You say that it doesn't matter if you get high blood pressure. It doesn't matter if you get hit by a car because you only have one life to live. But when I tell you about the baby, you choose not to do it the correct way, not even saying, hey, we only have one life to live. Why don't you use that analogy when you're trying to convince me that ultrasounds are going to be okay? When you try to convince me that the doctor found a hole in the baby's heart due to the ultrasound, I guarantee you that the Doppler, which is the first ultrasound that picks up the baby heartbeat, which is the worst ultrasound that you can get, is most likely the reason why your baby has a hole in his heart because you cannot send that type of radiation through that many layers of things and think that it is not going to poke holes into organs. That's sound. It's poking holes to see, bitch. And you think that the Doppler is not the reason that your baby had a hole in his heart? Why your grandma children ain't never had holes in their heart? How was she able to deliver 13, 15 at home and none of them had holes in their motherfucking heart? How is it that none of them had holes in their kidneys? How is it that none of them had all of these things because they didn't have what you were having? People still using tampons. Absolutely. You should never stick anything inside your pussy. I keep telling y'all that over and over and over and over again. Over. You shouldn't be dushing. Why is you sticking things inside your pussy? The dick that you stick inside your vagina is seen as foreign. The vagina begins to fight his semen. It takes literally six months in order for your body to get used to this man's penis. Six months for your immune system not to fight him. And what the fuck do you think your body has to go through for you to put a tampon full of lots of chemicals? Because they're not organic. <laughs> lots of chemicals and pesticides in your vagina for seven fucking days. And wonder why they're going to give you the warning to say it can cause teeth top syndrome? Of course. Of course. Not to mention that they should be telling you it can cause all kind of BV and infertility. Of opinion on plan B's, guess what? It's a chemical too. But hey, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> it's all chemicals, baby. You choose what you gotta do. And then you do what you gotta do after. <laughs> Girl, come on now. Come on. Even with myself, we gotta stop fucking on these niggas we can't have babies with. This is myself too. You do not want to raise a child what a narcissist. It will drain you. It will take you the fuck out. They do not care about the job, the child. They do not care about you. They do not care about anything. Trust me, I know. You do not want to be sitting here co-parenting with a fucking psychopath. We have to be stricter because the world hates Women, let me not even look at the camera and say that because I don't want to give that to the universe because I know how powerful I am. The world loves women. The world hates women. Okay? They do. The world hates children. Can you imagine that we love gay people? That we love tra- and nothing wrong, whatever you do, whatever, bum pussies, I don't give a fuck. I'm using it as an example. We accept transgenders even when it's a child. You will have a mother at the pump when the boy is four dressing him like a girl because that's what the fuck they say it is. We accept pedophiles. We accept fucking celebrities. That's devil worshippers. But if you are a woman with children and you are not with that man, the world hates you. We have become the most hated human on the planet. A mother and a fucking child. That lets you know how reduced of a society we have become. You don't give a fuck about the rappers talking about destroying our youth, talking about lean and doing coke and fucking numerous bitches. And you don't give a fuck about the women rappers talking about how we hate men. We just use them for money. We don't cook. We don't clean. We just suck dick. You don't give a fuck. There's a generation of children right now doing splits to destructive music that will destroy them from the inside out. But they are not hated. It is acceptable. You have women dressing little babies like strippers, but it's okay because we're not supposed to sexualize it, even though it is wrong for them to look like that. But if you are a woman with a child... Even if you got with a man and loved the man and he then switched up on you or he cheated on you and he did what he wasn't supposed to, you are still the most hated human being 
as a pair, a woman and a child, especially if you black, because they don't talk that same shit about Kim Kardashian, who's now a single mother. You don't hear it. Isn't her other sister single parents? Because they not with the fathers. You don't fucking hear it unless you are a black woman. You are the hated species on the planet, especially if you have reproduced. This is where we are. This is where the fuck we are. This is where we are. So now women, let's do what women do. And we pick ourselves up because this is what we do. Because women go through what they go through and they are the least ones to commit suicide on the planet, the black woman. So shout out to you black women. So you pick yourselves up and we got to stop sleeping with men. And I know men trick us. I ain't even lying. It is something about the process of when you go from being single with them to when you go to having a baby with them that changes them. I want to study the shit. It really changes them. They are not the same. So maybe we have to do better at vetting these men. Maybe we have to do better at not sleeping with them for such a long time that we get to see every single thing that they about. Maybe we should never look for any potential anymore and we should look for people to show us who they are and believe that because we want to receive that and we don't want to see anything differently from who the fuck you are. And you know this is coming from a woman who got all these children. So listen to me, okay? Listen. You don't want to put yourself in a position to even have to get a plan B, sis. Trust me. Okay? All right. Calm down. <laughs> All right. Okay. Another thing I need to say real quick, real quickly is the lack of taking on responsibility. And that's true. And that may be because they don't have as much testosterone as they used to. And what can happen is once you do have the child, it gets too hard on them mentally to want to have to be in a family position because of the lack of testosterone. That could be true. So we can also be dealing with a lot of feminized men. And, and I'm not trying to dog y'all. I love y'all. I will never sit here and, and, and say that I will never. I, I, I love you all, the black man is is a god, okay? And once you find yourselves, black men, like our women need to find themselves, I love you with all of my heart, okay? I love you with all of my heart. This is why I'm advocating for us. This is why we need love. This is why we need to change. This is why we need each other, okay? I won't, I won't fuck, a, I wouldn't fuck another nigga who is not, who, who don't have a black penis because I believe in you. I also won't be fucking another nigga with a black penis who ain't the good nigga or the right nigga, okay? So let that be clear, black men. Get your shit together like we have to do too. Have you seen cases where tubes grow back on the herbs? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love you too, Roy boy. Left titty. I'm single. I can do that right here. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> nothing, um, nothing makes a man feel better than a woman, okay? Especially that cootie cat. All right. <laughs> But I wanted to say, listen, so pop-up is this weekend. Plastic is definitely poison. Plastic is poison. Pop-up this weekend. How did I choose the weekend of the solar eclipse? Because I am one with the God force inside myself. Don't know how I do it. This is how I do it. And I don't choose to do it, but I do it anyway, bitch. Okay? So come out. Grab that energy. Get your percentage off. Love y'all. Okay? Um, Another thing I need. Oh, coffee. This is what I want to talk about. Coffee destroys the sperm. I always get on women about they shouldn't be drinking coffee, about how it deteriorates the womb, how it deteriorates, it gives them infertility. Coffee destroys sperm, and not only sperm, it lowers testosterone. It actually makes the sperm super defective. It lowers the sperm count, and it also literally destroys the testes. Stay away from coffee, caffeine in general, but coffee is so destructive. The best part of waking up, it's not that shit in your cup. Listen to me, okay? You trying to get your manhood and your womanhood back? Stay away from these chemicals, ladies. Stay away from them. They are deteriorating your womb and they are aging your womb and you cannot have children, okay? Listen to me. Men, stay away from these chemicals as well. And all of this, come on, we got to eat better. 
the time it is shifting okay i am never one to put fear into your mental or your psyche or your spiritual but i will say with very importance that the world is shifting you can feel it you can feel that we are rising to another dimension aka the so-called rapture we are moving the, the second dimension the third dimension the earth does that okay so you don't want to get left behind because you can't choose to eat well because you are choose to be in heavy. People who are heavy cannot rise above themselves. This is why the government is saying, okay, let, let us be fat now. Skinny bitches, not saying all skinny bitches are heavy, but now we're talking about weight on a scale of the physical. Just for the physical, just for a moment. Because your spirit have to be light as well. Talk about this shit. So now you see a culture where we will praise praise bigger everything bigger titties bigger ass bigger stomachs you feel me i'm not judging my own stomach but it's, it's fat but i'm just saying we're praising it this is a government ploy we're not saying that fat bitches should be not confident we're not saying that we saying that skinny bitches fat medium medium bitches should be healthy that's what the fuck we saying we saying that we need to snap the fuck out of it that's what we saying. We saying that y'all need to stop being mesmerized by a big donkey booty. Like Dick Gregory said, there's nothing but shit in there. And he said that the white man has played so far on your mind that you are looking at her shithole. And like, oh, I wonder how much shit in there. Yeah, that's what the fuck he said. And he makes sense. That's my poo hole. When I shit and I wipe my ass, it's my ass. We, we, we got to stop being so much in this. It got to stop. It got to stop. And another thing, you know, when I first got on here, sis, you said, look, I, I, I messaged you. My patience. Cause, cause let me, let me tell you something about me. I'm a, I'm a woman who loves change. I'm a woman who loves growing. And if I'm a grow, you got to grow with me. My patience is running thin. If I have to tell y'all one more time to call my office. Do not send me. What do I look like to you? What do I look like? Like I don't got four children of my own. That I don't got a baby hanging from my titty all night. And I don't want to jump out the fucking window. And I got to go to work in the morning. And I got to do lives. And I got to give information. I got to love y'all. <laughs> the nerve. And you telling me it's a serious problem. Uh, uh, inbox me. Call me. What bitch? You going to tell Amazon to call you? Huh? You going to tell motherfucking Walmart to call you? Stop playing with me. Oh my God, it's so disrespectful. I'm not going to call you. You're going to call me. <laughs> and not just because I'm oh high Sailor Team Sailor Moon, because I have a fucking business. And that's just the protocol. What's, what's wrong? And then get mad at me. <clears throat> I've DM'd you several times. Well, bitch, you need a call. The fuck? You going to DM Walmart on Instagram? Then y'all better stop playing with me, y'all. Look at me too low. Is you, you going to DM motherfucking Burger King? Oh, I came there and my order was wrong. You going to turn your ass around and go back or you going to call? I, my patience right here with that shit. Okay? Stop saying it. <laughs> Stop saying I got to... I'm Latino, so I don't know when I eat... I don't know why I even fall, but I relate too much with black women. Okay? We not mad at you. We ain't mad at no white people, no Indian people. We ain't mad at nobody. It was y'all mad at us. Not you in particular, but the world hated us first. We the most hospitable people on the planet. We have white bitches. I see the videos. White girl running the street. Niggas everywhere running to help her. It's black people that, that everybody seem to fucking hate unless you're eating chocolate. We don't got no problem with you. I call both lines. No answer. I emailed though. There you go. Call again. Call again. Call, call that nigga <laughs> that you went. Guess what? <laughs> like he not answering that phone. Blow it the fuck up. Blow it up. And I'm getting more lines. Don't worry. I called in the customer service with Stella. That's awesome. We appreciate your business. I noticed that not only my boob, her face looks more bumper. That is here. I'm not pregnant. My boobs do not look like that. Even Catrice be saying that. Everybody who say they say, it's not my titties. It's, these are not my titties. What is the day for the pop-up? May 25th. That's not the day for the pop-up. I love you, sis, but do not answer if you're going to answer incorrectly. The day for the doula seminar is May 25th. The day for the pop-up in May is May 18th. No, May 11th. Sorry, May 11th. <laughs> so, magical birthday, May 5th. May 11th is the pop-up. May 25th is the um seminar. Okay, missing the whole point of the video. 
I don't know. Look, this is what happens when they're not full of silicone. They move, all right? I'm supposed to look like a rubber, bitch. All right? Y'all titties is just stuck on there. This just nasty. Just nasty. Okay. Any questions for me? I don't even know what that means. Um, anything on mercury fillings during pregnancy? Dennis ref refused to remove them. You shouldn't get them removed while you're pregnant. You just gonna have to wait until you stop nursing. Anything. I'm sorry, YouTube. I don't, I'm I'm just awful to y'all. And I don't even know what to say about myself. <laughs> does it does it clap? Does my ass clap? They have so much spam on YouTube, bruh. I don't know. Ask my baby daddies. Um, May is going to be a busy month. It will be. Will you message me back, please? Oh, girl. Ooh. Ooh. I am breath against this fire. And I will not turn away. Baby girl, you can save this with cat. Okay. <laughs> a tilted pelvis. Okay, a tilted pelvis. You can use the womb lifter. Stop wearing heels. Can we buy tickets on your site? Not for the pop-up. The pop-up is free to crackheads, homeless people. We don't give a fuck, baby. Come on out. Get you a meal. Everything, anything you want. Okay? Anything. The magic seminar, you, I got to take your money. Okay? G guess what? That's a lot of work. Give me that money. Okay? What about energy drinks? Ooh. Kills sperm. Kills the uterus. Kills the heart. Stroke. Heart attack. High blood pressure. Destroys the brain. Stay away from what these white boys make. And I'm not trying to play any white boy that's listening because you the regular white boy. You know, you know, like the neighbor outside. Hey, mister, not you. I'm talking about the big, the big white boys. You know who I'm talking about. Um, not no more. And the food will be good too. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I've never worn heels. Awesome. Awesome, sis. Awesome. Weight loss. Everything we got. Blood purifying. If you do not know where to start. Hello. Hi. I'm Crystal, the goddess. Okay. The goddess collection. All right. I've been doing this. I'm a pro. That's why I'm cursing everybody out. <laughs> Let me just say this. If you do not know where to start, buy the blood purifier. Buy it. And you're going to come back like it's crap. Okay. Because it's going to be so good to your body that you're just going to be like, oh my God, what up? You're going to go and get the real thing. If you don't know where to start, get the blood purifier. It is a beast. It is a gorilla. It is King Kong. It is unmatched. Okay? It is unmatched. So what that means is, if you don't know, call us because we can help you. On the website, there is a what tea is right for me. Okay? What tea is right for me is on there. So you can also use that. You can email us. You can come in the store and shop. Okay? Pretend it's a gas station with all of the things that you are used to kill you. There ain't nothing in the gas station I can eat. Not a fucking thing. Not anything. And y'all go in there and I just literally be pumping my gas and just looking as you come out with hot Cheetos killing people and cold drinks killing people. And I say, this is why my people can't think. This is why my people can't think right here. This is why the people can do anything to them. And they, they not aware of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This, that's the rector. There's certain exercises you can do, but you can do the womb lifter for it too. But that, you got to work on that as far as exercise wise. Crystal, anyone, any recommendations on birth control? You got to track your ovulation, sis. Is there a correlation between the solar eclipse and your period? Absolutely. 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 We had a birth yesterday. Because the solar eclipse, new moon, full moon, especially full moons, are going to bring babies down. That's a pull. Absolutely. Absolutely. She has so much patience. You think? Two of my teeth have cracked with the fillings and I can taste the metal. You need to go get it out. Currently four months. Girl, you don't got the money. You can always sell some pussy. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. Encouraging people to be a prostitute. Bitch, your grandma was doing it. Goodbye. It's on, it's on men. Men love giving money. I'm Y'all just so far gone. Like your grandma just wasn't getting all her bills paid. The fuck? Pussy is, 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 is God's greatest creation. And you want us to just, just let us just get our fucking eviction. And you come in every other day for some, some fucking pussy. That's crazy. Men always did that. Just he, you ain't even had to ask for it. Is that prostitution when you don't ask for it? When when he's fucking and say, go buy you something, baby. What the fuck? Am I not special? I don't deserve no gifts. You don't want to buy me flowers? Damn. 
You just hate me, huh? You you know, my pussy not good enough that you just like, go get your purse, baby. That nut was fire. Nothing, I don't get nothing. Damn. Just a bunch of just nothing, huh? Damn, fuck. Just hate us. I mean, God, I'm, God damn. I remember old men in the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where y'all, where y'all going? They ain't not trying to fuck us or nothing. Just we just churning with you. Yeah, y'all all get get y'all a, a, a popsicle, baby. I mean, this is what men was for. Men are givers. Women are receivers. We receive the child. We receive the dick. This is getting weird now. Give us money. What the fuck is wrong? I got money and I still want your money. I'm a millionaire and I want your money. Yeah, you better click off, broke ass niggas. Get off here. Get off. Went down to nine nine fifty. <laughs> I ain't giving that whole nothing. Oh well. Oh, well, the fuck? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Do you do readings on social media? Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. And I'm not telling y'all to prostitute. But I'm just telling y'all this is the way that the like, world was. My God, it's nothing different from what your grandma did. <sighs> My God. I, I'm putting it like this. I'm not telling you to prostitute, but this is what I'm saying. Ain't no way a nigga should be coming to your house. And y'all just having casual sex. You just giving them pussy and y'all tongue kissing and shit. You on birth control, so you let them nut in your pussy. And he over there once a week, two, two times a week, and y'all cuddling and shit, and your lights get cut off. Baby, I'm sharing my body with you. You, you don't want to share none of them bills? And I mean dollar bills. I'm sharing my time with you. Come on, man. Come on. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. I ain't never had that problem, even when I was broke. I don't know how the world going now. Ever. All my niggas always gave me money. Always. All my boyfriends, all, all of them. The fuck? I say the last one baby daddy just was a broke nigga. Jeez, I'm, and I'm still going through problems with that nigga. One, one baby daddy just a broke ass nigga. Fuck. <laughs> Law, but all the other ones, I always, I mean, yeah, whatever. Man, this, okay, what else y'all want from me? Because I got a one o'clock and I, I got to go. I love y'all. I love y'all. And, and, and y'all have a great day. Okay, do better. Don't just get on here because it's fun. Do better. What to use for good, for high blood pressure, eye magic, and um pressure control. And blood purify. What can I do for a short service baby boom? My mom always told me, hmm, I guess she was a prostitute too. Girl, goodbye. Straight face. Okay, love you. How can I get a reading? You got to come to the pop-up. You got to come to the pop-up. Pop-ups, face readings, and warm readings. not hard to get to. Drive down if you got to. Everybody else do it. Every pop-up. People coming from New York. People coming from Atlanta. People coming from Georgia. People coming from um California. They do it. I don't know. What, come on. My mama had, okay. Wet pussy and dry pockets ain't it. How often are we supposed to drink the seeds? Three times a day. A platform is better than hill. Uh, not if they too, too high, but yeah. This weekend, yes, yeah, this weekend, the 13th. Heavy metal detox. Yes, what about it? Drink it. I have it. If someone is on blood thinners, can they use the teas? Yes. Allergies. I wish I was closer. I'm in Jersey. Okay. Pre pretend I'm Beyonce. Pretend I'm Beyonce. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, and put your hands up. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm just fine. Come on, I gotta go. Um, <laughs> are the pop-ups always on the second week of the month? I don't know. Sometimes, but the next one, the next one is May 11th. I do it whenever God tell me for to do it. What 13th? What time, guys? 11 to 5. Every time. I've been doing these pop-ups about to be a year. About to be a year. Come on, guys. Come on. What the fuck? Is heavy metals linked to anxiety? Girl, heavy metals is linked to so much. Come on, y'all got all my own, um, my, uh, what, what they call this? My solar chakra sweating. It's sweating because they ain't getting no loving. It's detoxing. <laughs> Come on, man. Bye, y'all. Y'all play too much. <laughs> all right. That's for Facebook. Mm-hmm. Oh, that stomach look fat as fuck. I should have sucked it in. That's fucked up. I'm going to suck it in for y'all. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oops, sorry, you two. <laughs> I'll be forgetting about y'all so much. I went to read shit. Look, I got the 
go. I got to go, but I love y'all. I love y'all. I get what I want and why I'm gonna pay your bills. I got what I want and why I'm gonna pay them. Shut your pussy ass up, bitch. Shut your whole ass up. Go find you an asshole to fuck, cause you a gay bitch.